Hello everybody, this is Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights at Powerpuff Girls 2, where this is the second game in the Five Nights at Powerpuff Girls series. And this game is of course made by Starlight Scrub Lord 2016. Which for those who don't know, Starlight Scrub Lord 2016 is the creator of the Five Nights at Powerpuff Girls series, which was released originally released back in 2016. But then about a year or two later, it got deleted from Game Jolt. Then in 2021, or 2020, I don't remember which year it was, I believe it was 2021, some years re uploaded these games. And I've been wanting to play them for a long time. So yeah. And as you can tell, even though I have my volume all the way up, the main menu music is really utterly quiet. And of course you got red lines and the title just moving unexpectedly and I don't know who's in the background but I believe that's let me let me turn off the brightness to see if I can find out who it is um I can't tell who's in the background in this game because the background is like even I have my brightness up as high as I can but the main menu is just really dark like, I can't even tell which one of the Powerpuff Girls is in the... is standing in the hallway in the background. Let me know in the comments who that is, because I can't tell who it is. Even though I have my brightness all the way... Even though I'm putting my brightness all the way up... I still can't tell who that is. I feel like that's Buttercup, because I... I noticed some flat hair. Like, as in, like, a whip. Like, a hair whip. So yeah, but anyways, without further ado, let's start a new game, and let's see what has to offer for us. Five days before opening. Hmm. Oh, we gotta find out some phrase for reference. <laughs> Hello? Where am I? I'm sorry if that's a bad Blossom voice. I, I, I can't really do Blossom's vo vo I can't really do any of the Powerpuff Girls voices that well. Okay, so we have... Uh, I'm trying to remember. What's the correct term for the characters? Uh, we, we're playing as Blossom, or Withered Blossom, sorry. That's, I just remember the term from Final Fantasy II. So we're playing a mini game. Which reminds me of Final Fantasy IV, where we had to play a video, a mini game, five days before the party. Huh? What's that? Oh. I think I just triggered something in that end of the cutscene. Alright, night one. Here we go. Click here to run to the door. Click here to run to the TV. Okay, so who's going to be on the TV? Watch the TV channels. It cools down your sanity and you will be able to see where everyone is through a camera system built in. You can charge, change the channel by pressing the TV buttons. Press the power button to turn it on. Flick downward to run. Listen for breathing. If you hear it, then hold the door shut. If you don't hear breathing, use your flashlight. Okay, this is reminding me a lot of Final Fantasy Phrase 4. When you hear very quick footsteps, that means someone has come to you, into your room or the closet. If you hear quick footsteps followed by a door opening, check your closet. If you don't hear a door opening, then hide in your bed as quick as you can before you are spotted. Wait up to six seconds when under the bed. If six seconds has passed and nothing has happened, they're gone. Do not get out of bed until someone's there. Okay, how do I turn on the TV? Is there like a button to turn on the TV? I'm trying to figure out. Okay, do I have to be concerned about bubbles? Because it looks disoriented. Okay, how do I turn on the TV? I can't turn on the TV. Oh, I just remember, there's a power button. Okay. I apologize. I couldn't find the power button for a second. Okay, I see bubbles. What's that going to do?
Okay, I'm getting rid of Buttercup. How are we going to know when Bubbles is here? Okay, so we can flip through the channels. Sorry, I'm trying to get used to the controls. Okay, so we can flip through the channels to find out where they are. Okay, Buttercup, get rid of her. Sorry, I had trouble finding the, the, the power button for the TV. But we can look through the built-in camera on here to kind of track where everyone is. Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to the controls because... This is the same mechanics as Final Fantasy Freddy's 4, so it can be confusing. My day with the power of girls, me. And why is there a brain damage bubble sitting in my room? Okay, I just saw bubbles move on the camera. Do I need to be concerned about that or no? Okay, I have the volume up as high as I can. And I'm listening for the breathing sound. Sorry, I keep, I keep clicking back by accident. Okay, there's bubbles. Plush bubbles. Buttercup. I haven't seen Blossom yet. I've only had to deal with bubbles and Buttercup. Okay, this, the mechanics are kind of, I'm still trying to get used to the mechanics because it is kind of confusing. Okay, I gotta check, I hear noises. Buttercup, bye bye. I get the TV on, I gotta check for bubbles. I gotta recharge the sanity bar when I go to the TV, because that will charge the sanity bar. Okay. And we beat night one. Okay, so that was pretty easy, actually. Not bad for a night one. Sorry if I was running around a lot, it's because I was trying to get used to the mechanics. Because the mechanics are confusing at first. But, I mean, I do understand the mechanics. Four days before opening. Okay, so we're Blossom still. Is there any other room I can explore? Because I haven't explored the others yet. I only went to that one section over there, and then I then that ended the cutscene. Okay. Okay, so we're Withered Blossom. I triggered something in the closet when I played this earlier. Um. Okay. Did I just go here? Oh, I can keep moving. Okay. So we can explore the house pretty much. Alright, so let's just explore the house. Because I didn't really get to explore the house. I didn't even know you could explore the house. Okay. Just a bit longer. Huh? Okay, so that's the end of the mini game. Alright, so 